All right, let's take a look at our example now, where we are dealing with the red and blue socks, all of them mixed up in a pile. Okay, if we take note of what we've been told, since we have four pairs of red socks and three pairs of blue socks, we're going to have eight individual red socks and blue and six pair individual blue socks. Okay, so start off. Let's go for our red and our blue. So my first thing will be my red socks and my blue socks. Okay, so starting off, that's my event number one, as some people might refer to it. So in my first event, I'm pulling out a, a sock, anyone at random. In total, I have 14 socks. I know that I have eight red socks out of the total of 14, and I have six blue socks out of my total of 14. Okay, so that's event number one. Okay, we can even actually label this one as event one. Okay, so next we're going to pull out another sock at random. If I had already pulled out a red sock, I can still pull out a red sock or a blue sock, right? So, still looking at my red, still looking at my blue socks. This time around, we need to take note of the fact that we are not replacing the socks. We're not replacing the socks. So, out of the, all of the socks that I have, I had eight red socks, now I only have seven. And there are 13 socks in total left. I still have all six of my blue socks remaining. So if I add my seven and my six together, I get 13. Same thing will happen here. I've pulled out a blue sock already. I'm going to see if I can pull out a red sock or if I can blue out, pull out a blue sock. Okay. Now, with this one, once again, I still have all eight red socks out of my 14. But now I have only 13 socks left. And with my blue socks, I've pulled out one, so I only have five out of my 13. Notice if I add up the eight and the five, I still get my total of 13, which still makes me quite happy. That one is event two. Okay, that's event two. Now, we could stop here if we were looking for a red pair of socks or a blue pair of socks. So if I pull out red socks and red socks, I would have a pair I could stop. If I've pulled out a red sock and a blue sock, I don't have a pair yet, so I'm not happy yet. Okay. Same thing here. If I pulled out a blue sock and a red sock, I still need to carry on further. If I've pulled out a blue sock and another blue sock, I'm happy I've got my pair. But we need to complete this whole thing. So, let's carry on. If I've pulled out a red sock and a red sock, and I just happen to pull out a third one, okay, I still have the possibility of pulling out a red sock and the possibility of pulling out a blue sock. Okay, now, out of the red socks, I now only have six out of them. Out of the blue socks, I still have six. So, in total, I have 12 socks. So there's my possibility there, okay. If I've pulled out a red sock and then a blue sock, right, I can still pull out red, I can still pull out blue. Okay, and let's just put in our lines there as we are supposed to, indicating that those things are together. Now, if I've pulled out a blue sock, I'm going to start at the bottom one, I've only got five socks left there, and I would have 12 in total, and I still have seven red socks, okay, because there I've gone, pulled out a, a red sock, so I have seven left, and now I have seven left with six blue, seven, I've pulled out a blue one, doesn't change the number, and so I still have my seven. Add those together, I still get my total socks. Same thing can be done here for this, so once again, I'm going to pull out a red, or I'm going to pull out a blue, this one, blue, red, I only have seven reds left, 
blue, I only have five blue left. And that would also leave me with 12 socks in the pile. I'm sure you're noticing a little bit of a trend here. Okay. And finally, if I've pulled out a blue sock over here, I can still pull out red, I can still pull out blue. Okay. If I've pulled out blue and I've pulled out blue, I still technically have eight red socks there. And if I've pulled out a blue one, I've got four blue ones left there. Okay. Now, just to make sure that you've got this in your attention, all right, you'll notice that if I take six and six, I get my 12. If I take seven plus five, I get 12. If I take seven and five, I get 12. If I take eight and four, I get 12. So we will always have something adding up there to get the same denominator in the same way that these add up to get 13 and these add up to get 13 or those added together to give me 14. So this is one way to approach your complex events uh, just to see what the probability of pulling out an individual item is here. We're going to have to then look at what's the probability of getting the full combination.